Hi there. Welcome to our daily devotional for May 28th. Our title today is The Defeat of Death. And our scripture comes from 1 Corinthians 15, 53-55. It says, For this perishable body must put on the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. When the perishable puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? Those are some truly wonderful words we have, aren't they? Um, wh what's going on here is it's explaining that Jesus has defeated death. Think about that. Death is our most powerful enemy. There is nothing more powerful than death. No matter how rich someone might be, or how powerful, or how famous, or how excellent they might be, death gets everyone. Every single person dies. Nothing is more powerful than death, except God. He died that he might defeat death by overcoming it, by rising from it. And so then we're reminded here by in Paul that even though our body dies, this is a good thing, for this must happen. This perishable body, he says, must put on the imperishable. This perishable body must die so that we also might rise in the victory of Christ and have eternal life. So we don't fear death, but instead we, in a sense, look forward to it, knowing that in our death we only get a new life, a life that is eternal. Praise be to God for rising from the dead to give us eternal life. Let us pray. Jesus, we thank you for defeating death so that we may have immortal and imperishable bodies. We praise you because you are powerful. We praise you because you love us. And we praise you because you have done everything so that we may be with you eternally. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Lord, we ask that when life gets us down, when we grieve and when we struggle, that you would remind us of all that you have done for us, won for us, and given to us. Help us then to have hope, peace, and joy. Let us praise the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the orphans and widows, the homeless and helpless, the disabled and diseased, and all who are hurting and suffering. By your good graces, help them and heal them, love them and care for them, be their comfort and their salvation. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord have mercy. For all these things and everything else we need, let us pray to the Lord in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I wish you have a wonderful, wonderful day.